Hey everyone, this is Super Glad, and I'd just like to welcome y'all to my YouTube channel. And the reason why I want to make this video is because I got to retract myself. I I told my subscribers on my YouTube channel wrong. And like I said in my video, if I'm wrong, I'm going to retract myself and admit that I got it wrong. And, and um, that's exactly what I'm doing. When I said that the White Eisenhower warned us about the military industrial complex, I said that he only done that to save his own rear end. And that ain't necessarily true. I mean, the White Eisenhower, he is part of that culture. And I'm on the same line. As Jeffrey Darty, I believe Dwight Eisenhower had George S. Patton murdered. But then I realized that the military industrial complex are evil. They're the ones that make the profit off of these wars. That's the military industrial complex. I was in, in the impression that the military industrial complex were people like George S. Patton. But that's not true. The military, the people that go overseas fighting for their country, those are just regular military men and women in uniform that fight for our country. They ain't got nothing to do with the military industrial complex. But like I said, the military industrial complex are people that make money off of these wars. See, people that fought for the Chancellor, they wasn't part of the military industrial complex. The Chancellor didn't even want to rage war. He wanted peace. But people hated him. And so he had to be a protector for his people. He didn't want no part of any kind of religious dogma controlling him and his people. He didn't want to have anything to do with Judeo-Christianity. He didn't want to get tangled up in that. He wanted his people to be free from that. But the Chancellor, George S. Patton, they're not a they were they were not a part of the military industrial complex. They were just regular military people that just loved their country and they was willing to fight for it. But I still stay true to my statement that the military need to have the guts to overthrow the government because that's all the military is doing. They're fighting for the government instead of fighting for the American people. Those are the people that our military need to fight for is the American people, not our leaders because our leaders don't care about our military. They don't even care about the veterans. They don't respect them. They're not grateful for what the military men and women do. So this is this is this words of advice to all the military men and women. You gotta realize we're the ones, the American people. We're the ones that support you. We're the one. <clears throat> we're the ones that stand behind you one hundred percent. We love you. We know you sacrifice a lot of for us, and we're grateful for that. But we also want to let you know that when. You get these unlawful commands. They're only telling you that 
because of their own walk of themselves. They have no morals about them. So, just realize if you did indeed overthrow the government, you'd be doing the American people a favor. And I'm not just talking about our American men and women in uniform in the USA. I'm talking about all the countries in this world. Your government doesn't respect you, doesn't honor you, doesn't really support you. They just want you to shed your blood, sweat, and tears for them. Hamas sending all those Pakistani people to spill all that blood. But is he on the battlefield? I don't think so. So that tells you something right there. Netanyahu sending his soldiers to spill blood. Is he in the battlefield? I don't think so. These people have no honor. They send their men and women in uniform to spill their blood to be a sacrifice on the altar. They don't care. They don't care. If they did, they'd be on the battlefield fighting alongside them. They ain't nothing but war hawks. That's all they are. They talk tough. Well, if they were really in that battlefield, they would piss in their britches. They'd be begging for their life. They're cowards. They have no honor. That's what Lindsey Graham is. That's what Donald Trump is. That's what Ben Shapiro, Sean Henney, Bill O'Reilly. They war hawk. They talk tough. But if they were in the battlefield with these soldiers, they would piss in their bridges. Because that's the kind of cowards they are. Truth's true. I'm going to give it to you straight. These people don't care. So just realize that. Just watch each other's back. Know who really support you. Only get with people that you can trust. Don't get with people that will stab you in the back. Get with people you can trust and depend on. People that you know that will have your back and protect you and you protect them. So this is serious and very important. We got to stick together. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And please hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever I make another video. And y'all please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And all of y'all have a good one.